Hey everybody, it's time for some drumming fun. Okay, here with Drums by Liz. I wanted to just take a real super basic idea, probably something you learned in maybe your first or second drum lesson, and just expand a little bit on it, show you a couple different ways to make it sound a little bit uh, notched up a bit, okay, a little bit more sophisticated. Okay, so we all know 16th notes. Put your feet on the downbeats. Right, do all of that. When your feet are clicking along, if I work my last note over to that hi-hat, it will be open for me, okay? So I just have to be mindful, get my left hand to come over here at the very end, okay? Be counting so you know where you're at. Right? Oh, look at that. I don't have to think about opening it or anything because if you're in that pattern of playing this along on the quarter notes with your bass drum, that's going to naturally be open for you, okay? So, take a little groove. Okay? Maybe you can add the crash symbol off of that note, right? It's because you're coming off of horny and a one and two, okay? So, also work that crash note in. It sounds great. It also... Um, helps the rest of the band to know where you're stopping your fill in, you're coming back into the phrase, into the verse, that sort of thing, okay? Uh, band members love to be reminded, yeah, that's beat one that we're back on, okay? It helps everybody. Go like you. You won't get the hairy eyeball too much, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, another way to sophisticate a fill in is to just throw a random bass note into it, okay? And I've done some lessons in the past on this that you can revisit to get a little bit more in depth with it. Okay, but say we took beat three, and we're just going to put beat three as a bass note and the ah uh of three, okay? Now your hands in between have to change up and play it as left-right, okay? If we're following our standard sticking. So, bass, left, right, bass, okay? Bass, left, right, bass is three E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, and then come back to four E and a, uh, okay? If you can get your hi-hat in there, don't sweat it if you don't, okay? Hi-hat adds a nice component, though, working through all of this, okay? So, okay, and then you're going to work yourself back into that beat, okay? Um, so, to me, that kind of adds, displaces it a little bit. So, listen again. Right? That time I didn't play the hi-hat on beat four, and maybe it's cleaner sounding, okay? I'll have to go back and watch the video myself. All right, so we got those little components. That's not a lot to add into that, okay? Another lesson, or maybe I'll give you a little insight right now. If I went to the and here, that hi-hat should be open too. So, right? Okay? Kind of a, a big jump for that right hand, but you could get there if you wanted to, okay? If you're kind of a little bit more mindful, maybe you could go like four and, or maybe four and, and get the left hand there also, okay? So all those possibilities to challenge yourself. All right, take that simple idea and try to build it up into a little a change up for yourself. Bring it up a notch. Okay, everybody, keep working hard and keep visiting me. So much to learn all the time.